Today at Encoding.com Labs, we're testing the Samsung Galaxy S4. The S4 is the second most popular Android device with nearly 6% market share, second only to the Galaxy S3. The S4 runs on Android OS 4.3 Jelly Bean, which has a 61% market share. But despite the popularity of this OS, there's still a variety of issues that come up in video playback. Now for some stats. The Galaxy S4 has a screen size of 5 inches with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The pixel density is 441 pixels per inch. Out of the box, Android provides format support for MP4, DivX, XVID, H.264, and H.263. The display type is a Super AMO LED capacitive touchscreen with 16 million colors. This display technology integrates a capacitive touchscreen layer directly into the display instead of overlaying it on top of the display. This results in a thinner design that uses less power and reflects less light, and therefore works better outdoors. While the Galaxy S4 boasts support for HTTP live streaming, we found it inconsistent at best. When using the native browser, the user is prompted to either open the video in the native player or download the video, although this did not happen in Chrome or Firefox. However, sometimes in these browsers, the video did not resize properly when switching from landscape to portrait mode. In addition, the forward and backward buttons did not work with HLS streams. The S4 also delivered inconsistent closed caption support. Sometimes with YouTube in the browser, closed captions only worked with an embedded player. When switching to full screen, closed captions disappeared. However, this does not happen when using the native YouTube app. This was also the case when viewing closed caption video with JW Player. Quite naturally, the Android OS provides native support for Google's own Widevine encryption scheme, but also supports Adobe's PrimeTime and Microsoft's PlayReady through custom third-party apps. Because of its support for HLS, we recommend serving this format to the Galaxy S4. However, there are specific additional parameters that are required to make HLS work on Android. The ref's parameter is an important H.264 feature that allows for reference frames other than the one before or after the current frame. Using this parameter, you can specify up to 16 reference frames. For live action, 4 to 6 reference frames will suffice, but for animation, 16 should be used. Generally, the default is 6 for Android and we recommend 5. BF, or Bidirectional Interpolated Prediction Frames, are a critical component of the H.264 standard and are only supported when using the main and high profiles. Generally, this is set to the maximum of 16. However, for Android, we recommend 3. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is a great device for consuming video, although it does have a few drawbacks. While it does support HLS, Issues with scrubbing and screen resizing diminish the user experience. In addition, inconsistent closed caption delivery can create challenges for some audiences. And that's this week's episode of Encoding.com Labs. Check back soon for our next episode, and thanks for watching.